Good morning and good night. Thanks again for downloading the Body Snatchers podcast. And when you listen, stream, or download straight to your device, CastBox is your best option. Remember, if you like what you hear today, don't forget to subscribe and comment. So let's get started. Enjoy the show. All right, guys. Good morning. Good night. Don't laugh at me, Gia. Uh, Too late. Tino and Gia here from the Body Snatchers podcast. Today, we're going to try something a little new. Um, we thought it would be fun to uh, yeah, maybe toss some extra shows into the mix on a weekly basis. Um, try it out for a while. See how you guys like it. So hopefully you're having a good morning or a good night or whatever the hell it is. Whatever it is for you. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is you're doing right now. Um, so today I thought it would be fun if we dived into the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer that just came out, the newest one. Because they, uh, they, they gave us a whole lot in this one, didn't they? Yes, they did. I was actually surprised because I feel some type of way um, after watching Endgame. And I kind of felt some type of way like watching the uh, the trailer for this. You know, it, it kind of puts you in your feels, but also the um, the whole vibe of it. Mm-hmm. She is stuffing her face right now, just in <laughs> case anybody's uh, curious. But the whole vibe of it is just it's it's got higher energy to it. You know, it starts off uh, with you know Peter Parker, and he's you know, like kind of narrating himself, and he's just like everywhere I go, I see you. You know, in reference to um, mm-hmm. to Tony, to, to Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah, and they show like this, you know, really awesome mural like hanging on the wall as he's swinging through the city, and you know he's having a conversation with Happy about it, and it's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm interested to see where they're gonna go with it, and obviously, they're gonna be speaking heavily on the relationship with you know Peter Parker, Tom Holland, and uh, and, and Tony and Tony Stark. Yeah. So, you know, with him being his idol and stuff, even the you know police officers. I think that in the beginning of the trailer, there's you know something that Peter breaks up stops and they're just like what are, yeah. you, what are you trying to be the next uh iron you're gonna man? be the next iron man he's like no i'm too busy doing y'all's job was like, just oh. kidding <laughs> sick burn just kidding i'm going on vacation soon you guys you guys did a great job um, jk see you later <laughs> and i like that he's growing into the role uh as being like you know kind of witty and obnoxious because i think if he was just you know, more plain Jane, we would end up with uh, a Tobey Maguire type of Spider-Man. And I'm not taking any shots at Toby. He was a great Peter Parker, but a Spider-Man. So, <coughs> I mean, and that's the thing. So Toby was a good Spider-Man. Um, Andrew Garfield. I'm sorry, good Peter Parker. Uh, Andrew Garfield was a good Spider-Man. And that's right. the difference between the two. Like Andrew Garfield was perfect for being Spidey. And then Toby was perfect for being awkward, awkward Peter. And then Tom is just like the godsend combination yeah, he does. He does his own. Tricks. He does all his own tricks. You've got. You've got. Yeah, to, he does. You got to appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, it's I mean, nice to be a gymnast. The, I mean, the, yeah, right. But the trailer <laughs> itself, I mean, it's it's just really exciting. And there's a uh, like he, Tom Holland, Peter. He's hanging out with uh, Happy, and you know he gets a <laughs> <laughs> he gets a, an unknown phone call. <laughs> yeah, from uh, Nick Fury. You know, like, Nick. I, I don't. I don't want to answer that. Nope. And Happy's like, well, you got to answer it because then I got to answer it. I don't want to talk to him. He wants to talk to you. And then he just like fucking sends him to voicemail. Hits end. And Happy's like, did you just send Nick Fury to voicemail? I got to go. I can't do this. Not going to so happen. And, <laughs> and, you know, and of course, uh, down the line, you know, Nick Fury finds him and uh, it's like, hey, man, you're a hard guy to get a hold of. Um, but, you know, getting into the meat of this of this trailer, I'm just really curious to see where everything's gonna go because well with, i'm with, excited because they opened up the multiverse like with this last movie they they brought in the multiverse and that's one of the comments that peter makes right away when they were talking about uh you old awesome dude that got ripped from his dimension and he's like you know if we had you back in our world it wouldn't be as bad as it is and nick's like well peter gets confused and he's like what do you mean your world and then nick explains that it opened up a multi-dimensional rift when they did everything against Thanos to bring everybody back. Well, before even getting into that, though, I'm you know more so saying every every trailer that came out beforehand, you know, led us to believe that Mysterio was going to be uh, the villain, you know, and and yeah, he, he was going to be a bad guy, and he very well could be. You know, there could be a you know a plot twist where they're working it could together. Could be a change in the end. Abs- absolutely. Um, but at the same time, you know, for the way that it was introduced and Nick Fury already being you know aware of his existence and you know with the multiverse. Um, I'm really curious to see where that's going to go. And even more so with the, you know, multiverse that you mentioned, 
with this being the last installment and with everything that's going on with Fox, I'm really wondering if they're going to find a way to use this multiverse theory and to drag the X-Men in, to drag the X-Men in, to drag the Fantastic Four in. Well, I feel like that could be a really, so wasn't um, X-Men or Fantastic Four was Sony, I thought, right? Or are they Fox? No, I can't remember. Fantastic Four is Fox. Okay. I could never remember with them because I hated all the movies. So I didn't really pay too much attention. Um, but I do know that they're still going ahead with Dark Phoenix. And I know there was like the chatter that maybe it might not happen. And then I've seen all of the previews and actually I'm pretty excited for this Dark Phoenix one. And maybe with this whole interdimensional rift, uh, what's going to happen is something's going to happen with Dark Phoenix and it's going to like combine the two dimensions or do something where the X-Men do get dragged over, which I'm pretty excited to see because I, I really like that they gave like, I, I mean, hopping topics real quick with the dark phoenix trailer that they showed how they gave like the phoenix an actual persona versus just being like a blob of energy so that could be interesting i think it could be but i I, you know i just i've been let down so many times by basically every fox superhero movie (laughs) except for deadpool deadpool i i had no complaints deadpool one and two actually went pretty well pretty good but that's everything like, else has been trash yeah like okay so like the remake exo movies weren't too bad but they were still bad enough that it was like why did you even bother to make this so so it's like okay like fantastic four i actually liked it for the time it's it's a bit dated now but it was good and the second one i liked the thing jokes but that's about it i wasn't a huge fan i i thought the first one was was uh was decent um com- compared to what we're used to seeing on screen it was good for its time it would fit kind of funny in this marvel universe it'd be cor- so, corny but the second me, one was growing awful. up and watching those well the second the the, the reboot they did was Oh no 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 no! I'm I'm never ever. I'm, ref- but, I'm referring to uh, Rise of the Silver Surfer was a big yeah. Like, Rise of the Silver Surfer actually well okay it was a letdown but I enjoyed what they did with Silver Surfer like because they they accurately made him he was pretty much like just OP which is what he is in the comics like he is OP but aesthetically I wasn't pleased with the way that he came out on screen. Um, well, I mean CGI for the time was trash too. So <laughs> agreed, but you know maybe they should have just left it alone. I don't know. And then I think the biggest thing that bugged me about that movie because I you know let a lot of that stuff go, you know go to the wayside. But Galactus was such a cop out. I I would have been totally fine if they never did an actual movie. But you really mean to tell me that you couldn't give us a figure amongst the the know, actual Galactus stuff? versus <clears throat> just some clouds and tornado that mysteriously like eats planets? Yeah, I was very upset yeah. with that. Very upset to this day, to this day. So yeah, no. See, I wasn't a big fan of the movies in general. Like even as a kid, like I really liked the X Men movies as a kid. But then when I watched it as an adult, I was like, why did I even like this, this this trash? And I think it's just because at the time it was new, it was different. We really didn't like. We had some live action ones. We had like the Blades of their time and whatnot. But like bringing all of the the group together in a big movie format was just awesome. And then like Hugh Jackman was the perfect Wolverine. And, couldn't have asked for anybody better to play him but when i went back and i watched it again because i like just like you grew up watching the cartoon read the comic books was just excited as a you know 11 year old or you know 12 year old when those movies came out and then to rewatch them as an adult it just wasn't nearly as good and then i started noticing all the nuances that just didn't make any sense and were just frustrating to think about and it was the same thing for the fantastic four because i really like the fantastic four and just to see the characters kind of downplayed a lot frustrated me as an adult. Yeah. And, you know, I, I agree. Uh, but again, I mean, at the time, you know, with all the nineties movies that we had out, we didn't have much to you know compare it to. We had Daredevil, which was, you know, as a kid, I think I saw half of it and was like, yeah, we're done here. Um, you know, X-Men. Well, did was did Daredevil come out before or after? I thought it was after. Well, I'm just saying the, t- the time frame. Like, yeah, all the movies in those time frame. Gotcha. Yeah, and we, you know, we had Blade, which was good. It was uh, geared for more, more so for adults, um, which was fine. Yeah, definitely. You know, as a kid, I didn't have an issue with that. I did like those, but it never felt very superhero y, if that makes sense. Um, no, yeah, because Blade's not really superhero y until he starts interacting with everybody else from the Marvel Universe. Exactly. It felt more like a vampire movie that happened to, you know, come from a comic. Be Marvel. Mm hmm. You know, yeah, and uh, other movies, you know, video game, um, you know, movies and stuff like that. Like we have Mortal Kombat, so which was 
cool when it came out. I remember seeing it in theaters as a kid, but you know, that's a guilty pleasure movie for me. I still watch it. Yeah, even it's, it's garbage. <laughs> and, and like Street Fighter was was so bad. And it's just, you know, with all these things going on, you know, that's kind of why I feel how I felt. But uh, getting back, you know, to the point of, uh, you know, the discussion, Spider-Man, uh, I'm really interested to see like what you guys think. If you have, you know, any type of fan theories based on the trailer, if you agree with, you know, some of the multiverse theories that we talked about, um, you know, what sort of situations Peter's going to be in, what questions people are going to, you know, ask him, will he have a hard time? Um, you know, thinking about what happened with Tony in Endgame. I, you guys should have seen it by now. If you haven't, I'm not going to spoil it, but I, it's the implication. We is already strong. spoiled a little bit. The, so. Im, the implication. We said it right at the beginning. <laughs> well, we didn't say anything outside of the implication. We did. Implication. Well, no, no, we straight up was like, nope, you know, nope, don't you, person's don't you I'm not going to say it again. You, I just said you, this person. We never said it. You're saying it right now. We did say it in the beginning. You're going to wait. You're going to listen back to the beginning. You're going to be like, oh crap, we did say it. We absolutely didn't because I would have cut it, but now I got to cut two things. Thanks. You got to cut it in the beginning because we oh, definitely did. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, and last thing I just wanted to add to that, I was already incredibly excited to see uh, Jake Gyllenhaal <clears throat> playing as Mysterio. But yes. to, and the way it looks, but to see it in action the way that we did today, good Lord. Like I was at the office and wanted to just kick everything over. Like I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Yeah. Just start flipping tables. He's flying around and like shooting beams and creating. Be like that fight, that fight me meme. <laughs> you know, and I and I have so many questions as a fan. I'm like, okay, is he really doing cool stuff, or is this all you know theatrics because he's Mysterio and it just looks amazing? And they're playing a big game on Spider Man, and and maybe Nick Fury isn't even there. I don't know. There's so many things that it could be. So. You know, whatever. I mean, I'm obviously overly excited. I'll chill. Um, I feel like maybe what might happen is if he isn't a villain in this movie, maybe something happens towards the end of the movie that makes him a recurring character, kind of like Thanos was for phase one. Maybe Mysterio is going to be the part of that for phase two, we which might I think will be cool. We might even get Killmonger back from uh, you know another universe because he's Dude, I just, a popular fan. You know who I really want? I just, I want Kraven. I just, I just need him to start hunting Spidey. I just need that in my life. Just, just go I, after him. <laughs> I, Spidey's not ready for this one yet. We need a slight, no, he's not. A slightly he's not to <laughs> for Spider-Man because he will get folded by Craven. Um, I mean, he does get folded several times and then comes back and folds Craven back. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, but this, this Spider-Man is—he's not ready. No, no, he—he he don't want no smoke. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for uh, you know checking out this uh, quick update on things that are going on in the world. We hope you enjoy this. Um, you know, if things go well, we'll continue to do this. Like I said, it's all experimental. We just want to, you know, find new ways to reach out to, you know, a broader audience. And, of course, keep giving you guys new content. So, uh, you know, thank you for hanging out. Head over to BodySnatchersMedia.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And, uh, Please also, do. Also, the audio podcast. So, thanks, guys. We make all the happy brownies. Have a good day. Are we the brown? You know, it's fine. It's we fine. are. No, I meant like little house gnomes, but you went there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys.